This three-part tutorial shows you how to integrate data in real time from a database on-premise to Azure SQL DB in the cloud. The first step is to create a stream cluster in Azure using our Stream for Real-Time Integration to SQL Database Marketplace offering. Next, you will need to install a stream agent on-premise, enabling you to capture data in real time from the local database. And finally, you'll create and run a data flow that moves the data in real time from the on-premise database to Azure SQL DB. In this final step, you're going to create the data flow that will move data in real time from Oracle on-premise to Azure SQL DB in the cloud. Before you do this, you'll need to install the Azure SQL DB JDBC driver on your Azure Stream VMs. The data flow is generated using Stream's Oracle CDC to Azure SQL DB template. This involves configuring change data capture from Oracle and properties to deliver to Azure SQL DB. The generated data flow can then be deployed and tested. You can obtain the Azure SQL DB JDBC driver through the Azure Resources page accessed from Get Started in the Stream UI. You need to install the driver to your Stream instances before you can create your data flow. So download the driver and extract the contents locally. Now copy the jar to the Stream instances using SCP, utilizing the server domain name, username and password you enter when creating the cluster. Once it has been copied, you need to remotely log into the Stream instances and using sudo, move the jar file to the Stream lib directory. You now need to restart the stream node and repeat this for all instances. You should now log back into the stream UI where you can see the new applications page. Here you can select from a number of predefined templates. We're going to use the Oracle Change Data Capture or CDC to Azure SQL DB template. CDC enables you to capture real-time change events from a database. When database operations occur, they're written to a database transaction log. CDC listens to the transactions and turns all DML, inserts, updates, and delete operations into change events in the stream platform. These can then be applied to the Azure SQL DB to keep that database up to date in real time. Selecting the template and choosing a name for your application, you must first configure the properties to connect to your Oracle database. The source can run within a stream server or utilize the agent. In this case, we're going to run on our on-premise agent. When you click Next, Stream checks your configuration and ensures you have the correct credentials and permissions to work with the Oracle database. It also ensures that change data capture is set up correctly and you can read metadata like schema and table names. You can then browse the schema and choose which tables you want. In this case, we're going to use the H customer table. You can choose as many as you want. Once the source is configured, you need to set up the target. In this case, an Azure SQL database. We're mapping the H customer table to the customer table in SQL DB. Connection URL can be copied from the Azure SQL JDBC connection strings that you find on the SQL DB pages. We can remove the password as that's configured separately. Completing the template generates the data flow. There are two pieces to this flow, the source flow and target flow. The source flow contains the Oracle CDC source, the target flow, the Azure SQL DB target. Before we run this, we first need to deploy the application. In this case, we're splitting the flow across agents and servers. So the source flow is deployed on the agent and the rest of the application on the stream server cluster in Azure. Once deployed, we can start it and are ready to go. Now that we've built everything, let's test it with some data. Before we insert data, let's verify the row counts. You can see zero rows in Azure SQL DB in the cloud. And when we insert five rows and run a select, you see the data in Azure SQL DB. Similarly, if we update one row on premise, the update is immediately reflected in the cloud. And if we delete data from Oracle, the row is also deleted on Azure SQL DB. Now you have seen how to move data in real time from on premise to Azure SQL DB. Try it for yourself. And please contact Stream Support if you have any issues.